I was critically injured in a U.S. Army convoy in Germany, February the 3rd, 1965. And laying in the road with snow blowing in my face, I could tell I was barely alive. I joined the Army to protect my country, something I was mighty proud to do. So I thought if I must die here today, it's for the red, white, and blue. I suffered a broken neck, pneumothorax left lung, and paralysis, which was widespread, severe damage to my lumbar spine, and amnesia from a severe blow to my head. And after 42 days in the hospital in Germany, I was medevac to Walter Reed here in the USA, where I was promised lifelong help from the injuries I had suffered, medical help with full compensated pay. And I believed the bitter lies they told me. I figured what they said was true. But the truth is, I finally got part of the money that was promised to me in 1965, and I got it in July 2002. So I appeal the dishonorable decision made at the VA in Nashville, Tennessee. I told them I didn't want a handful of change, but every damn dime that they owed me. So the VA went on a rampage, forging and destroying all evidence that would be helpful to my case, committing criminal acts against me while their no good lawyers shoved it in my face. The Board of Veterans Appeals, now that's a sick and sad situation. That low-life gang of crooks is a disgrace to our great nation. My case has been back and forth between the VA, the board, and the court 40 years now this past July. And do you know why those criminals are holding my case up? They're waiting on me to die. Our disabled veterans suffer from their injuries that torment them night and day. Then the VA hires the most worthless trash on earth to cheat our veterans out of their pay. So one of these days when it's all said and done and all you sick-minded people have passed, the devil has a surprise waiting on you. He's going to burn your no-good ass. So when you crooks stand there pleading your case before the devil, it will be a worthless endeavor. For your crimes against disabled veterans cannot be forgiven then you will suffer forever and ever. Bless all the wonderful people who have served our great country with honor and the ones that fought for the red, white, and blue. And a special thanks to all those wonderful men and women who died fighting for our country. May there be a special place somewhere reserved just for you. <laughs>